I really appreciate you all joining us today. Uh, we're here and bringing this to you to help out Velocity and the family um, in the time of need to take care of expenses surrounding the death of a loved one. Um, lots of things you don't really plan for that come up, you know, when, when you think that things are further away than they are and you have expenses that aren't in the budget. So today we are doing our best to raise more money through the GoFundMe at the right there, up at the top of uh, my screen. And if you go there and you donate, you know, it'll really help everyone out and bring some much needed solace to the family. All right, so since you started there, um, currently the fundraiser is sitting at 18230 Yay! Uh, there is, however, $500 of matching money right now, so if you guys donate a buck, it counts for two. So... For my panel? No, for, for the entire stream. Okay, so if we get about 500 yeah. do I get another 500 Yep. Yeah. So, uh... We're matching up to 500 during this week, this today. But let's get you drawing because that's what they came here to see. Yep. So anyways, I figure we should probably start this with a sloth running shoe. A sloth running shoe? Yes. Okay. She does like to run. Yeah. Velocity participates in many marathons. So how do we do this? Okay, so a shoe. I hate drawing shoes. While she's trying to draw a shoe, uh, if you all could suggest animals and objects in the uh, chat, I can add them to my list to come up with interesting things for her to draw. And don't forget, safe for work, people. Hey, running shoes. Hey, they can ask anything they want. It just won't necessarily happen. That's well, all. yes, but I wouldn't want them to... <laughs> I mean, I, I'd love some interesting suggestions, I guess. Velocity sends her love. We love you, Velocity, and we miss you. I mean, I definitely need some interesting things. Hmm. She usually had laces, so let's mark where that lace line will be. <laughs> And tongues. Oh, this is a really bad shoe. I mean, this isn't the first bad piece I've done, but. This way. Okay, so now where are we slothing? Let's find our sloth. I can't believe you picked sloth running shoe. Why not? It seemed pretty obvious. What, do they have claws or something? I don't... You tell me. You're the artist. I am merely the muse. <laughs> <laughs> Sloths walk on their bellies uh, most of the time, and they're, if they're on the ground, they they kind of do this slide where they pull themselves along. Because they're not really meant to stand upright. They can, but their legs are very short. And their arms are very long. So. 
and it's going to be a happy sloth because it's the fastest sloth in the sloth world because it's a running shoe. It's a badly drawn running shoe, but it's a running shoe. Do we have the timer going? Oh, no, I was giving you a little extra time since we talked about the charity. So, ah, uh, I was hoping you were you're hoping to stop. save you. No, there's no saving you. Put on a this stop one. to this. No, uh, if I was doing this as a full item here, this would be like green and mossy because uh, sloths are their own ecosystem. I mean, you should just be happy that, you know, I'm not going to make you color it too. I could. I don't know. I wonder if I should. I mean, uh, you're actually making really good time. So. I mean, I don't, I don't know because it would pick up a lot of the paint. I might have to replay it, uh, the pencil. <laughs> I might have to replace a tip. You might have to replace a tip. Yep. Why? This isn't about the world's best artwork. This is about the fastest, most interesting artwork. Well, I guess, but it would Be pick up the pencil. It always picks up the pencil when I color over top of pencil. And sometimes it clogs the tip. More. Making it function less. Less well. Where's the Crayolas when we need them? I could get down your pencils. <laughs> I mean, I know exactly where my pencils are. They're not down. They're not up anywhere. Aha. Uh -huh. There are options. Maybe a nice watercolor piece. Too bad I put away the acrylics. I don't know. So many options. Where'd you put them away? I put them away over here. No one wanted to see your acrylics all over the counter. No, I was going to put them away where they go when they came down, but they were already away. Put them in the box. Ooh. I know. Oh, the box is just a tub. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up and I failed. Ha ha. Okay, the best so, way to hide things is upwards. So this this shoe is going to have fuzzy fuzzy sloth hands because it's pulling itself along. Blessy says, "I so love this uh, sloth. So funny." <laughs> And then they have little teeny, teeny back feet. Sloths don't have any sort of tail and they don't have any visible ears. They do have a little bit of a colic. So that's kind of here why the back of the foot is going to have, ooh, going to have the little um, loop, thingy. loop thingy that you can use to pull on your, your shoe under your foot. It's got a real name. I'm trying to remember what it is. I don't think I'm going to remember. I don't think I ever knew what the name was. I'm sure it has one. I mean, I know yeah. I've heard the name before because... And it wasn't thingy? No. I, I watched a special on tennis shoes. You did, did you? Yes. It was in that abstract television show that you occasionally want me to watch because it makes me go do more work. Oh, that's true. There are a couple episodes of that we still need to watch. Yep. All right. Put down some toes. Hmm? Put on some toes on those back feet. They don't really have toes. I thought they had claws. I mean, we put claws on them because we like to. I think they really have claws. I'd have to double check. There's several types of sloths, so it's possible that one of them has. So there we go. All right, I'll let you off the hook there if you want. Okay. I would. What are our options? What are my next things? <laughs> well, the chat's been pretty adamant about the things they want. So let's get set up. Flip your page. Get ready, because I'm going to give you five minutes for this one. So, okay. you know, you ready? Ready. Set. You're going to make a badger cannon. Go. A badger cannon. Okay. So first... I don't know whether it should shoot badgers or be made of badgers. Uh, well, first I'm going to draw a cannon. Uh, but like the old circusy cannon. Because if it's certain people, circusy is better than, you know, Civil war -y. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just, 
Yeah, I, you have no comment. Okay. I, I don't really you. know much about cannons. I've seen circusy cannons. <laughs> and I've seen like some some war <laughs> shows and documentaries, but <laughs> I thought it, I could play more with the design if I had a one for a uh, badgers have tails. They have kind of wide fluffy tails, I think. But since since Boozy is determined that uh, he is not an English badger. <clears throat> and he is an angry, angry badger. Because the American badgers are, are angry, angry badgers. We're going to make it. They are pretty fluffy tails. They do have pretty fluffy tails. This, this fluffy tail is uh, someone's going to light it on fire eventually, so he'll really be <clears throat> screaming uh, stuff. But oh. it's, I still think they have um, the eye pictures, that, like the... Who is he claims that he is not angry, he is passionate. Passionate. That's a word for it. <laughs> He's looking down at what he's about to scream out at the internet because he's a circus cannon word badger. He's not sure exactly what words are coming out yet. But I think they still like have this. Here, I'll even cheat for you since you have two and a half minutes. Yeah, they still have the, the, the fluffy patterns around them. So... As much as I hate to cheat. I know. But you love your wife. Yeah, it's a theory. <laughs> and it's sitting on its legs here. And his hands are up here because they're, in this case, not getting used so much because they're cannons. So he's, he's not going to light his own fuse. Mm. He's say, stupidity. On the internet, and it's gonna say, oh. You're just gonna scream because it's too stupid to get words. You have 47 seconds left, plenty of time to light that tail on fire. <laughs> There is a badger cannon screaming at stupidity on the internet. All right, so you're stopping early. Tisk tisk, extra time. Well, I didn't have more to draw. No more to draw. That's a shame. You gotta give me more to draw. All right. Are you ready for the next one? Yep. All right. So. They were also asking for a coyote tank. I think that's a good one. Coyote tank. Okay. So don't give me a specific tank because I... Take a water. Ha ha. Ah. <laughs> so first, tanks are big boxes that have like conveyor belts for wheels. 
<laughs> wow, your military strategy right here is just amazing. I know, I'm wonderful. I kind of feel like I'm being Kage right now, though. <laughs> Uh, how much of the time? And then they have a second portion here that uh, usually it sloops, I think. Oh, thanks for the graphic, Thanks, yeah. Skylar. That's really nice. He's keeping track. Uh -huh. And mm. that is so not a good tank. So, and there's this, and they usually have, like, a big... <laughs> Apparently, Boozy has named the better Canton and Tom. <laughs> so there's... So now how do I make this... Okay, look anything like a tank is the first question. <laughs> Once again, I'm not the artist. I'm just the muse. I know. <laughs> or so... amused. I don't know. So now we want it to be a coyote. Coyotes, coyotes are an interesting bunch. This coyote is facing a uh, facing backwards. So he's got his floofy tail is the big BFG. Can you say that on stream? That's why I uh, <laughs> didn't. And, and and because it's angry, it's floofy. Because I, I know that like cats, their tails will go a bit floofy when they're angry. And uh, apparently the, the bum here is the window to the, the, the coyote. <laughs> the bum is the window to the coyote. I think it's something that we can probably all agree on, but <laughs> and so so its ears are back here, and it's got big, big ears because you're looking at ears. So there's its, its ears. You can't see its eyes because they're looking out the wrong direction. This is not a comment in any of wonderful coyotes I know. <laughs> this is a comment on making the BFG a tail. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. And they've got to get ear floofs, because I like ear floofs. But in this case, ooh, the ears are going to be radar to make sure they're not running into any bad stuff. Let's see here. I mean, I have a vague knowledge of how conveyors work. I have a cat cam. <laughs> You have one minute left. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do, else to do to the coyote. Are there suggestions about the... What about the paws? Nose? There are room for those. Oh! This is a very... No, the nose is off the back. It's like the eyes. But, uh -huh. This is a very unique tank. Because it's... A coyote walking backwards. Is this like the ad ad in the front yard? Is it going to just fall over at the first sign of snow or rain or whatever? <laughs> no. Stupid I, Ewoks. I know. Gotta, gotta ban the Ewoks from the neighborhood. Keep from. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to connect Ewoks to snow. Maybe we should join that silly neighborhood site so we can complain about the Ewoks running loose in our neighborhood. Oh, they would be really confused. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> All right. All 
honestly, out of all the suggestions so far, this one has really amused me. So let me pull the timer back up. Doo -doo -doo. All right, you are ready. Okay. I want a vulture carry-on bag. A vulture carry-on bag. This could get quite grotesque. <laughs> okay. Now, are we talking about a vulture in a carry-on bag? And then is it a bag made of carry-on? <laughs> Probably not, because this is a really family-friendly stream. So. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so, so make a vulture into a bag. We'll yeah. call that good. Vultures. I love vultures. They have really long necks. And I get these round heads. And, and they, they wear turtlenecks sometimes. <laughs> Do they get cold in the Sahara? I mean, they must. They came with a turtleneck. What a fascinating idea that is. And... Am I gonna have a kind of a frowny beak? It's not too happy about being a bag. It doesn't like being a bag, and it's it's gonna look at you. Ooh, is it gonna give you a look? They're always bald. They don't have they don't have fur up here. Or feathers. Because, you know, they get messy. Yes, when they eat watermelon. They love watermelon. But this guy's just got a little bit of a mouse. I still say that was disturbing. It was disturbing <laughs> to watch vultures eat. He, he's, he's got a mouse in case he needs a mouse pad. I wonder if you can take that on a flight with the TSA right now, or if that's a snack that's larger than three ounces or something. I don't know, because it would depend on the mouse. Okay, they have wings, but I want the wings up so it counts as another handle so I can make some base here. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I love the behind the scenes stuff sometimes. <laughs> so how is everyone doing on the fundraiser? Have we... Where are we at? Refresh. Ah, we are now currently up to 18,449. Woo! I am really happy. Which is some maths different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really happy with how, uh, how well the fandom has turned out to help out Velocity and her family. It makes me have uh, hope for people. And happy. You think that the uh, vulture will fit under the seat in front of the you? I don't know. It won't. There's no way this vulture is fitting in the seat. And these vultures will not fit in the overhang. It's it's just not possible. And then they get really angry. <laughs> they get really, really angry when you try to step them. And and they have claws. So this is for that person that tries to slam the door over and over, even though it obviously isn't going to work? Yep. Oh, okay. Vultures can totally protect themselves. So, is there anything interesting in the chat going on since I can't see it? Any questions people have? Well, you didn't ask for questions. You have 20 seconds left. Oh, no. Da, 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 da. Bags should always be adjustable. Mm. 
an interesting idea. And there needs to be a zipper pull. Because if it's going on luggage, it should really be able to close. There we go. I don't know. That was awfully nice. I, I must have given you too much time or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, what to do next? What to do next? Hmm. Well, let's see. I know I saw Dixie in the chat earlier, so I mean, we should do a lioness. But what should we do with a lioness? Hmm. Let's go for the beer stein. A beer stein lioness. Yep. Okay. At least I know that. Your things are like pint glasses, right? No, it's like the big mug thing. Oh, the, the big mug thing. They're the big. Okay. I don't drink beer. No, but you shouldn't know. What I know German I have like five of them in the next room. So they... What, German Steins? No. Oh, German Stein. Yeah. No, I was thinking the big bottle that we get in. Oh, you're thinking the Growler. No. MCSD, the Growler. See, this is how bad I am about that. I do not know. You and wordies. I know. Me and words. Words are hard. It's a good thing this isn't a realm with magic. You do horribly with proper names. I would. I would do very badly with proper names. Summoning random demons. I don't know. Haha, -ha, I'm going to break out a ruler. You're going to break out a ruler? I don't know. That might be cheating. Wait. Uh, they don't have... They go straight down. They go straight down. <laughs> like this. On each side. I'm bad with me. You would think I would I have drawn one of these. <laughs> okay. I love it when the scrolling on the chat gets off and doesn't tell you there's more things down. Oh yeah, it's wonderful <laughs> when that happens, doesn't it? I'm like, no one's talking. Oh, I wonder if we're boring the crap out of everyone. Like, no, no, uh, YouTube's just not going to tell me. And they, they usually have like a base, so it's really sturdy. And this is going to be extra sturdy because the base also has toe beans. Toe bean base. And the handles, and this handle also has a fluffy tail, but only on the end. Because <laughs> Dixie, of course, wants a copy after the chat. Okay. This, but I think we'll have to maybe tighten it up a little maybe bit. Maybe tighten it up. Maybe I'll, you know, finish it. Oh, no. Finish a whole stein? I I'm know. not sure you can drink that much. No, I'm not going to drink anything. <laughs> it's for research. No, it's, it's also got gluten in it. You will kill me. There's gluten-free beer. There probably is, but we don't have any in here. Well, I don't want to fill it with vodka. That's way too much vodka. Fill it with hot chocolate and then add the vodka. Yeah, point. So Stein, and they have they have tops frequently. Okay. Usually they're kind of rounded, but apparently I can't. Minute draw. and a half. Mm -hmm. Minute and a half. How much time did we start with? Five. <clears throat> okay, it took me like three minutes just to figure out what I was drawing. So they have tops that have ways to open them. And Dixie is a lioness, so she doesn't have a mane. Not that she can't if she doesn't want, if she wants one, but their big, ears. Big floofer ears. Around. Around ears. 
and then eyes here. Mm, Jeremy, the hate fox is right. There are gluten-free ciders. There are, and I'm still trying to figure out if our um, um, uh, what's that called again? What the lambics? If the lambics are gluten-free. No, they're wheat beers. Oh, sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Beep. Yeah, not too bad. I put her name on top, so I didn't trick it. Oh, that's a good plan. So, I mean, now that we're, uh, ooh, well, that'll be fun in a minute. I, I figure since, um, you know, you hate drawing technical things, uh, let's do a fox train since Eddie's in the chat. Check it, check it, check it, check it, choo, choo. <laughs> fox train. I mean, at least I have a little bit of a clue. I don't need to know what a fox looks like. That's You don't need to know what a fox looks like? That's probably good. Yeah, I've drawn lots of foxes. They've got big, fluffy ears and they've got fluffy tails. <clears throat> Trains might be more difficult. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've been to Bodie's enough, I should know. Well, and there's another famous train that you could do probably pretty easy. T H O M A S? Yes. Uh, see, I spelled that for you. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think the coyote's listening? He might be. I'm sure he'd perk up for that. <laughs> So apparently trains start as a two by four. They have curly like things on the front. And then they get bigger. They usually have like, you know. Heck, there's a wave in this book. Okay, and then that is the noise they make. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you're winning any sound effect awards here. <laughs> We're in this for drawing, not sound effects. And then sometimes they have a stack, uh, the, the smokestack here. So there's. Smoky bits. Smoky bits. Smoky bits. <laughs> I, what? I'm just imagining a fox with a pipe at that point. Smoky bits. Smoky bits. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's more than one fox that will happy, happily vape for you. Not in my presence. But because I'm allergic. <laughs> Apparently, Eddie's not allowed to have a pipe, so I think he needs a bubble pipe. Ooh. He'd be very sophisticated. Ooh, he could get some of those like edible bubbles for con. People would love that. <laughs> People would love that. I wonder if it's legal in the hotels. <laughs> There's plenty of sidewalk outside. Okay. And and trains go really fast, usually on wheels, but. Because tanks all go on feet, so do. Minute 45. And, and there's like. There's more than one car. 
There's no room for his tail because his tail's way over here, but it's going to be so floofy. It's... <laughs> I don't. I do the best that. parts of this image are off the screen. Yes. <laughs> you should see them. They're yes, amazing. They are amazing. There's frequently <laughs> doors, which kind of disturbs me when it comes to T H O M A S. There's a lot of things that disturb me about that train. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go with that there are uh, two feet for every every car because that's why it goes so fast make it nice get your haunches I really wish I could want to be able to draw the tail and it's here <laughs> somewhere oh uh, well 10 seconds left Ears? Eh? Oh, ears. Foxes have almost Pikachu ears. <laughs> Foxachoo. Foxachoo. Foxachoo choo in this case. Yes. And they have floofs inside their ears. <sighs> Running over. Tis, tis. Oh, I got the second ear in. Ha ha. Done. Um, it didn't make a noise. No, I stopped it. There's only so many times I want to hear that silly noise. True. Um, well, I think there was a really fascinating suggestion that I haven't seen us do, which is a fishbowl. Well, we'll go with a fishbowl. How about... Liquor. All the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wrong type of party. Um, let's do an otter with a fishbowl. Uh, an otter fishbowl. What could be otter than an otter with otter fishbowl? Yeah. Specifically a fishbowl. I don't want to spend all my time trying to make a circle. This is called a circle guide, people. I highly recommend getting one. Cheating? It's a circle. It's not cheating. <laughs> but you're an artist. You should be able to freehand the circle. <laughs> circle. I hope I didn't hurt anyone's ears. Apparently, Dixie will take a bubble pipe over the kazoos. I don't know. I don't know how you chain a bunch of bubble pipes together to make an ultra bubble pipe. I'm sure someone will figure it out. Well, you know, that's a good point there. Um, and since we're a little bit past the halfway mark, I want to remind people to donate to the link up there. Or occasionally that goes down there. Either way. Um, but... As we mentioned at the start of the stream, we have some matching money. I haven't refreshed the page lately. Yes, there is still some matching money available. So for every buck you donate, it counts as two. So let's get out there and if you can help, if uh, you're a little bit strapped because this has been quite a year, um, do me a favor and just spread the word. And heck, bring people into the stream. If nothing else, it's always fun to have more people around. So long as you stay six feet apart. <laughs> well, we're just going to stay one internet apart. That's probably good enough in this case. Oh, uh, probably. And otters have these thick tails, but they're not fuzzy. But they are thick. I went off the page. Did I go off the internet? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Did you go off the internet? Well, I mean... I, I, I just like that as an idea. Yeah. You just drew off the side of the internet. Don't worry. You will just draw it right there. It's fine. And they also have these cute little, cute little button ears. They're cute. Cute little button ears. 
Well, they have the same ears as lions do. Really? Yep. Mm. Lions have the same ears, and the coyotes and foxes have very similar ears. I don't think they have the floofy inside bitty. I don't think most okay. Some lion, some lionesses do, and some don't have the inside floofy. It's up to. No, I mean like they don't have the curve. Yeah, yeah, it's thinner, but it's very similar. Okay, and this one, this otter is very distracted, the very cross-eyed here, because they're a fishbowl, and otters eat fish. Apparently, lions stole the ears from the otters. Okay. <laughs> and and there is a fish. Swimming around inside this otter bowl. And they're both very confused. But otters also have this nose, which is kind of in the way of it, like seeing the fish very well. And I am off center, but you know. I imagine it's pretty hard to see inside your own head, anyways. Yeah, that's why it's like really cross eyed right now. It's giving itself a headache. It has a nose. And it has lots, lots of big, floofy whiskers. They have so many whiskers. They probably have a purpose in the water. To be I mean, cute and adorable? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> all, all otters are cute and adorable. Unless they're really angry. <laughs> angry otters. Sequel to Angry Birds. <laughs> Throwing otters through the skies. Otters through the skies. Angry, angry, angry otters. It's trying to figure out how it gets to that fish because it doesn't remember eating the fish. And it would remember eating the fish because Otter's favorite foods are fishies. Fishies and oysters and clammy things that they eat upon rocks. I, I thought their favorite thing was a vegetarian buffet. I've been lied to. No, that's that's our our friendly Des Otter, uh, QM Otter. Quotation marks. How did I say the other one? Panda is not Otter. <laughs> no, a panda is not an Otter. That is a very good observation. I very much appreciate that one. Hey. <laughs> I have been doing a lot of rapping. <laughs> I think that's probably good. Okay. What do you think? I think it's a very good otter fishbowl. <laughs> it's the otterest, otterest fishbowl there is. True. It is tops of its league for what it is. <laughs> God, I'm encouraging. What do you want? Hey, encouragement. <laughs> All right. Because they asked, I think we have to do it. How about a ferret kazoo? Go. <laughs> ferret kazoo. Okay. Kazoos. Oh, they said it seems fishy. Oh, fishy. The puns. The puns in this fandom. <laughs> hey, you're using a ruler again. Yeah, I am. It's still cheating. Kazoos are squares. I can't draw a square any better than I can draw That's a, a very circle. That's a flat kazoo. Hmm? That's a very flat kazoo. Well, it won't be in the end. Oh, it won't be, huh? No. So kazoos have all these little square holes down them. No, they don't. Don't they? Well, they kazoo! Bring... Oh! Not yes. harmonicas! Not harmonicas! Yes. 
Next page. <laughs> I slept four hours and had two coffees. Meh. Meh. Okay. That. It's triangle. <laughs> <laughs> triangles that lead to squares. Triangles lead to squares. Is this like the weirdest like high school drug talk ever? Well, don't start doing triangles. You'll end up doing squares any day now. <laughs> then you'll be doing circles, and then where are you at? And, and, and then there's a there's a circle on top. <laughs> ha! Told ya. <laughs> I, I have to... I have to the, <laughs> it's been a long time since I was in D.A.R.E. <laughs> Which is only hilarious when you realize that they gave out pencils. And as you shaved the, the, you sharpened the pencil, it went from D.A.R.E. not to do drugs to do drugs. Okay, so. Ferrets. Also have round ears. And if I stopped right here, we'd have a mouse. If they you caught them in, we have a really weird Muppet. They have big floofs in their ears. So that's okay, because as Alkali ages and he gets that ear hair, he can just leave it and he'll be more like a ferret. <laughs> What? I thought he'd just like comb it up into the top hat. <clears throat> and, and they have they have the masks just like raccoons have. At least if you have a black footed ferret. Some ferrets don't. But I usually draw the ferrets that have masks. And Muffy. And they also the tube weasels. This is the worst circle thing I did here. That is so bad. That that needs to be fixed. I can't leave it like that. Are you gonna use your fancy circle thingy? No. I don't need a circle. I need a use your fancy oval, oval thingy. And I don't have an oval thingy. Why do they have oval thingies? I don't have oval thingies. They're on my Christmas list. Ah. All you want for Christmas is two ovals. Ovals. <laughs> oval team? No. Ew. One minute left. And they have they also have tails, but they also they're they're the weasel family, so it's similar to otters. So you really don't want to blow in this kazoo's blowhole. Well, it's at the front, or the little end. Yes. Well, I mean, you might want to kiss, oh boy. Yes, you could. Ooh, I just figured this out. 30, <laughs> 30 seconds left. He, he doesn't have a, a thingy if he's got a top hat on. The crazy top hat from the Mad Hatter. <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll call that there. I'm not sure that's even the best one of its type. I'm sorry. <laughs> Flip back a page. Because they figured out what to do with that. Okay, what should I do with this? A hair Monica. As in rabbit. Oh! Go. Okay. Am I going? Yeah, you're going. Okay. Time's wasting. It's going away. Entertain the audience, as it were. Okay, I, I don't know if you know this, but, but bunnies have a lot of babies. A lot of babies. What's that have to do with all the little squares? Because this harmonica is... A home for hares. So you've got. They're looking at the eyes. 
that I have that they're all sets of eyes staring into your soul of hair Monica. I think we've traveled into the creepy realm. <laughs> well, yeah. We knew it would happen someday. Is that a movie? The harmonicas have eyes or something? <laughs> but, but bunnies also have big, floofy tails. I mean, they're small, but they're, they're floofy. <laughs> he says, I say, everyone. He says, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, those bunny tails are way too close together. <laughs> one tail per eye? We've really gotten into the island of Dr. Moreau here. I don't know. <laughs> and, and they have big ears. And these ones are kind of like jackrabbits. Because, you know. Because the ears are going up. And they're not lop ears. The top ear bunnies, their ears go down. Unless they're listening very intently. And then one of them goes straight up. Only one? If the picture is cute. <laughs> so we're only counting them in very cute pictures. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm not sure I'd want to play this harmonica. I think we're going to call that one where that's at. Okay. <laughs> All right, next page, next page. Okay. We've only got a couple minutes left, so I'm going to do the one that the chat keeps uh, coming back to. Okay. You need to do a three moon wolf. Your time starts now. A three moon wolf? Yep. Three moons, one wolf. I'm sure there's a video about that, but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean, the only one I keep coming back to is not safe for work. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 ba. Sometimes that's the hard part, isn't it? So what you don't know is that I have a tattoo on my ankle of three moons. Usually when you see me, I'm wearing socks and shoes. Because that's the law. Or a dealer's table. Yep. I mean, we're still wearing socks and shoes. No one can see them. They're under the dealer's table. So there's, there's a three moon tattoo. Not exactly like mine. So how do I make this a wolf? Okay. So it's got... A floofy tail. And big ears. Not quite as big as rabbits. This ones are kind of like rabbits, but whatever. We're going to also give it ear floofs. Which This looks, this is a silly wolf, and most moon wolves are, are very serious and like, you know, but this one is definitely silly. And they have triangle noses, big eyes, a lot of times they have, uh, the, the tips of their tails are like slightly lighter in color.
And this wolf is up all night. He's up all night for good fun. And he's so super extra fuzzy because he's going to get baby wolves. Constantly, you know, doing things like babies need, trying to stick things in outlets you don't want them to. I got to tell you that strapping two baby wolves to your head (laughs) is probably the worst way to try and get some sleep. Probably. I mean, I I thought of some bad ways, but that's really right up there. And and the baby wolves are also tired, but because uh, babies don't know how to go to sleep, they are screaming. Ah. I was about to write, ah, backwards. Huh? Apparently. They've got roofs here. And get toes. And because he's very upset about the screaming baby wolves attached to the sides of him. He's got claws. It's also decided that he has earbuds in his ears. It's not attached to music, just big old, like, corks. They're right. It's up all night because it got busy. Yeah, that is very possible. And that's why he has nuts <laughs> baby wolves. Yep. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget to go to that link right above me here that I'm pointing at, uh, hopefully. And... <laughs> Check out and see what you can do for uh, Velocity and the girls, because this has just been a tragic situation all around. Where are we at for matching? Keep drawing. Keep drawing. That's that the wolf. Yeah, you're not done. That, those baby wolves need more definition. Okay, fine. Uh, so, um, but you know, it's definitely help out if you can at all. If you can't, like, just retweet. Like, there's all kinds of possible options that don't involve funds if you don't have them, because trust me, there's a lot of good things. Even just extending a a pelping hug. Let's see. Do they have back feet? Does this work? Awful head. <laughs> I think she didn't make the wolf howling because it's too tired. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, they don't have the their toothies. I think they need some toothies. Do they need toothies? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's going to hurt the mama wolf. I hope she's not still nursing. Because <laughs> wolves definitely have very sharp teeth. All right. Now you can talk about fundraising. Yes. We're currently at 18469 bucks. That means there is still some room for matching left available. So every buck you guys donate is worth two. So if you can, we, it's appreciated. Yep. Let's get him a nice cushion to help with this time. And as noted, there's a link up there. Occasionally they flash a shorter one down there for those who don't want to type too many characters. Yep. <laughs> I mean, who likes typing? I don't know. I'm pretty fast at typing. They can I... just draw it out on the paper instead and go there that way. Click. Well, I see our time is up, and I'm looking towards the wrong camera. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for coming by, and I hope you enjoy the next stream, which is... Don't ask me. <laughs>
<laughs> a mystery. <laughs> a mystery. Captain an enigma. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming by. Silver Gato Man, he bought me a coffee. Silver Gato Man, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gato Man, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.